Well, after that December, surely things can't get any worse. Can they? Let's go to the video. Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport and episode 17 of The Road to Glory. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and do all that stuff. Leave a comment, leave a like and help the channel to grow and join us on what is becoming quite an adventure. And if you are already following, you'll know that we had a horrendous December um, where we had so many unhappy players and something we really had to deal with. And we were also dealing with the most horrific um, problems with regard to a wage budget, which was only a few quid over the top. But all sorts of threats were being made and we were in trouble. Could it get worse? Yes, it did. Because on the 1st of January, we were slapped with a uh, transfer embargo for failing to meet the financial fair play regulations. And what that meant was that we couldn't actually take part in the transfer market um, unless we managed to reduce the player's wage bill by around about £700 per week. With the um, loans or going out of Hilton and Bennett, though, and a few other minor players, on January the 13th, we received a further notice to say that um, we were now able to operate in the transfer market after our finances had improved. And so things were looking like they were back to normal. But it wasn't my intention at this point to actually get involved in the transfer market. Um, I, I was, I'm really unsure of where this season is going to go and um, I really didn't want to upgrade the side at the moment. I wasn't sure whether to, to just keep going with the same squad or to upgrade and prepare for possible championship football. We do have some money, but I decided to stay out of it. Now, those of you who have been following along at the end of the last episode, you will know that we were top of the Skybet League One. How? We don't know. Maybe it's the tactic. Maybe it's a glitch in the game. I don't know. Um, but I think it's because the squad is built for rotation. And we've been able to rotate in these this heavy fixture list that, that all teams have had in this league. And it's like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Monday. It's like we have fixtures all over the place. So being able to rotate has meant that we are currently 10 points ahead of Oxford and uh, doing very, very well indeed. But uh, January hasn't proved to be the best of times. Um, we were... Uh, we had a good win. We had a good start against in the Papa John's Trophy against Oxford. Um, and then we had a good away 3-2 win against Hull in the Skybet League. Then some crazy goalkeeping um, and defensive work. We had a 5-5 draw against Wigan. Um, despite leading 4-1 and 5-2, they managed, well, Joe Day scored an own goal in the 92nd minute and they managed to get a 5-5 draw. Against Derby, we got a um, nil-nil draw, having dropped Joe Day for his antics over the previous two games. And then against Wigan, um, we are, our journey in the Papa John's Trophy this year came to an end when we were beaten 2-0 away. Um, and um, I, it, well, we weren't supposed to get that far. I was very proud of the boys. They did a lovely job. And um, that meant that uh, we now only had the Skybet League to focus on. And, and boy, do we need to focus on that. Because looking at those results, I was getting a little bit concerned that we were starting to leak goals. Um, and I've had a lot of rethinking going on in my mind about um, Joe Day's form. The, the wing-backs have not been actually performing well either defensively or offensively. And, and so we've decided to make some changes and uh, we are going back to basics here. And so for the game against Shrewsbury, we have gone back to a back four. And um, 
to try and um, just bolster the defence a little bit, we're going to be now playing with full-backs rather than wing-backs. And um, the team for today is based around the same sort of shape, only four at the back, and we're still going to play in the same style that we normally play in. We're going to play narrow, we're going to play through the middle, we are great at um, scoring from through balls, we're going to soak up pressure, be solid defensively, and hit them on the counter-attack. The only change really is we now have gone to a back four and we've got three in midfield. And so the team for today is Day in goal. He's back after having a good think about what he got up to. Lewis, Pass, Parker and Dimitru. Williams, Lakin and Sweeney. Brown, Thomas and Abraham will be up front. And it's um, an experiment that we're doing. Um, um, we don't want to disrespect Shrewsbury, who are sitting at the bottom of the league. Um, but I think that we do have to look at an alternative way of playing, because we are just leaking so many goals. OK, so um, I think it's time now to go to the match. And I think in terms of playing against um, a lower league team, we want to be telling them... Um, that we should be winning this game. <laughs> and so, let's go to the match. And so, um, we get underway. And uh, Shrewsbury, um, we're not expecting them to be um, too threatening. Um, they m they're at the bottom of the league and they must be there for a reason. Although we're at the top of the league and I can't quite work out why we are there. So maybe it's all a bit topsy-turvy at the moment. And here come uh, Shrewsbury, and that's a header that goes harmlessly over the bar. So um, we, we must not get um, complacent, and we must not tight mark anybody. Um, and we're just going to be patient, pass the ball around, and Lewis loses the ball immediately. And here comes Shrewsbury again. We, we <laughs> I think FM are um, trying to get me to panic to make some changes, but we're not going to do that. And there's a header that hits the post. Um, but no, FM, we are not going to panic. We are not going to make changes as yet, even though um, you want us to. Um, we're just going to keep playing our game, soak up the pressure and be solid at the back. And here's Thomas. Thomas, he looks for Brown. Brown, he finds Williams, and we're looking a little bit more in control of the ball now. We do have a very strong, or a stronger midfield, as I could put out. Brown finds Thomas, and Sweeney looks for Lakin, and Lakin is through one goal. You have to score. That's a penalty. It must be a penalty. Yes, it is. The referee has given a penalty, and what a chance for Lewis. Lewis can step up here and put Newport into the lead, and what a start that will be. And Lewis drives it into the corner. There's no stopping that. And it's Newport County 1, Shrewsbury 0. And that is what you'd get for being patient <laughs> and not making any changes because FM wants you to. Lewis simply drilled that into the corner. There was no stopping that penalty. And so... Um, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. And although we are not dominating the game, we are not conceding anything, and our XG is infinitely better than Shrewsbury's. But here's Shrewsbury, and they're coming forward now, but that's going to be easily dealt with by Pask. Lakin finds Brown, and Brown, he finds Thomas. Thomas is looking for Abraham. Abraham in the clear, and that is lame. <laughs> that's lame. I expect more of Timmy Abraham. But that's half time. Um, we're in front, um, and I'm just going to tell them we can do better. Um, you were pretty good, but there's a lot more that you can do in this game. And uh, we have a throw in, and Lewis, he looks for Abraham. Abraham finds Brown. Brown to Thomas. And he looks for Brown, and Abraham's made a good run, and Abraham's in on goal, and he has scored. And it's now 2-0, and I think that's pretty much going to be game over. We are dominating this game, um, passing it around beautifully. And that was a lovely example of what we can do through the middle. 
and it's Abraham who started the mood, Brown fed Thomas, and the beautiful through ball, Abraham's run was absolute perfection, and it's now 2-0, and things couldn't be better. We're back on track after that dismal run that we had. And here come Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury are looking to bounce back, and that's an aimless cross that's headed wide. Um, I don't think really now we have anything to worry about in terms of this Shrewsbury team. Um, we're starting to dominate possession. We have a much more threatening attack. And here we come again. It's laking. And one of the things that we do is pass it around at the back, as you can see, and then we launch it forward. Um, when we um, are getting opportunities like this and here's Brown and that was a chance and we should have been 3-0 up but instead we have a corner and the corner will be taken by Lewis Lewis swings in the corner and I just noticed that some of the Shrewsbury team have changed their kit and I'm not quite sure if that's legal as a few of them now are playing in white or a cream coloured kit and I'm not quite sure I'm not going to complain to the uh, governing bodies about this. You can clearly see some of them have changed their kit and, I, and I, I really feel strongly that this is against the rules and somewhat cheating trying to put our players off by wearing a different coloured kit. Um, but here comes Shrewsbury, and um, I, I, I must admit I'm quite upset about this. And they have a chance, and it's just wide of the post. And there's, there's even more of them now wearing a different colour kit. And how many teams have they got out on the pitch here? I'm not quite sure what is happening here. This is a glitch and a half. And um, we're just going to make a couple of substitutions. And... Um, I don't know, I, I do really feel strongly, you can quite clearly see there are some players wearing a, a white kit which is not very sporty. And here here come um, Newport, Newport, they're looking for Abraham, Abraham, he um, is has the ball taken off him and there's a long ball forward and Parker clears up but it's back with, back with Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury looking inside and he just gave the ball away to someone in blue maybe he thought that the blue team were also on their side but here's Abraham in the clear now can he score this time and he does and that's what you get for cheating because they actually gave the ball away to somebody wearing a blue shirt and they confused themselves more than they confused Newport this is just a glitch and a half I really don't know what's going on with FM there and Abraham, anyway, goes clear, and he's got one thing on his mind, and he buries it into the corner. And it's Newport 3, Shrewsbury cheats, nil. And um, I will be talking to... Um, <laughs> talking, and Lakin's got, got an injury, um, and we're going to go now very defensive. We've had to take him off, um, and we're going to go uh, very defensive and uh, see the game out. And I think that should be it. They're not going to score three now. And I think that's full time. And at the end of the game, it's Shrewsbury nil, Newport three. And we are back on track again. I'm just saying, well done, lads. That was a really good win for us. And, and things are, we've got over that poor run of form. And so after 30 games now, we are still... Um, three points top at the top, and um, this this is an unbelievable run. Um, all the teams um, around us have won their respective games, and so with 16 games left, anything could happen here. And um, we just need to focus on what we're doing. We just need to keep winning. And in terms of the squad morale now, we're absolutely flying. Everybody is happy and in good spirits and things couldn't be looking better. We do have one or two players who we still need, might need to keep hold of. But look at that. There isn't a player now who is unhappy. And what a change from, um, from December where everybody seemed to be unhappy. And looking at the fixtures coming up, there are games against Cheltenham, Burtonham and Wickham, all down the bottom end of the table, which we should be winning. So I'll be in January, in February, I'll be looking for um, 
a much improved performance and I'm hoping to win at least three or four of those games um, in February. In terms of the transfer window, I don't see us um, taking part in the few days that are left. Um, but you never know in a transfer window. All sorts of things could happen in the next few days and we'll update you um, when we've got more details on, on that. We'll update you next time. And so um, that's it for this video. We are now three points clear at the top after 30 games. And hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment, help the channel to grow. And uh, all I can say now is I'll see you in episode 18.